Welcome back. In this video, I'll be looking at 11.6 Integration by Parts, Part 2. 11.6 represents Chapter 11, Section 6 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Over here, I have a question where you have to use integration by parts twice. It says, work out the following integral. The integral of 12x squared multiplied by 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 5 dx. Well, the first step is to let u equal ln, if not, x to the power n. In this particular case, u is equal 12x squared, therefore dv over dx is equal 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 5. du over dx is equal 24x, v is obtained by integrating dv over dx. So if I integrate, I get 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 2, multiplied by 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 6 divided by 6, which gives me 1 over 12, 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 6. Now, I'm going to call i the integral of 12x squared in brackets 3 plus 2x to the power 5 dx. The way I calculate this integral is to use the integration by parts formula. So uv minus integral v du of dx dx. So I take u and I multiply with v, which is this. So if I multiply these two, I get x squared 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 6 minus the integral of v, which is this, multiplied by du over dx, which is this. So multiplying these two gives me 2x in brackets, 3 plus 2x to the power 6 dx. Okay, ladies and gents, I'm going to call this particular integral j. So I have j equal integral of 2x in brackets 3 plus 2x to the power 6 dx. Now, u will be ln, if not, x to the power n. In this particular case, u will be 2x. Therefore, dv over dx will equal 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 6. Now, du over dx is equal to v is obtained by integrating the dv over dx. So if I integrate, I get 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 2, multiplied by 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 7, divided by 7, which gives me 1 over 14 in brackets 3 plus 2x to the power 7. Now, I can integrate this using the integration by parts formula, okay, which says uv minus integral of v du over dx dx. Okay, so j, which is this integral over here, is given by taking u, multiplying with v. So if I multiply these two, I get 1 over 7x in brackets 3 plus 2x to the power 7 minus the integral of v du over dx. So you take this and you multiply by this. Multiplying these two gives me 1 over 7, 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 7 dx. Now, what I need to do next is integrate this. Okay, so I can take it a step further and write 1 over 7x, okay, 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 7, minus, integrating this gives me 1 over 112, 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 8, plus c, the constant of integration. Now, I can go back to my expression for i, which is this. That integral has been calculated, it is just j. So I can write i is equal x squared 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 6 minus j, okay? So I've got x squared 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 6 minus square brackets. I put my j in, which is this. 1 over 7, x in brackets, 3 plus 2x to the power 7, minus, 
1 over 112, 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 8, plus c. Now, I can expand this bracket to give me x squared 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 6 minus 1 over 7 x in brackets 3 plus 2x to the power 7 plus 1 over 112 3 plus 2x in brackets to the power 8 minus c. So, in summary, this particular integral is equivalent to this over here. So that there was my first example of using integration by parts formula twice. Here is another example of using the integration by parts formula twice. Work out the following integral. Integral of 2x squared sine 2x dx. Firstly, u is ln, if not x to the power n. In this particular case, u is equal to 2x squared, therefore dv over dx is equal sine 2x. du over dx is equal 4x. v is obtained by integrating the dv over dx. So if I integrate, I get minus 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 2, cos 2x. Now I'm going to call i the integral of 2x squared sine 2x dx. Using the integration by parts formula, I take u and I multiply by v. If I do this, I get minus x squared cos 2x minus the integral of v multiplied by du over dx. If I do this, I get minus 2x cos 2x dx. The next step, ladies and gents, is to set this particular integral equal to j. So j is equal integral of minus 2x cos 2x dx. Firstly, u is ln, if not, x to the power n. In this particular case, u is equal minus 2x, therefore dv over dx is equal cos 2x. Now, du over dx is equal to minus 2, v is obtained by integrating the cos 2x. So if I integrate the cos 2x, I get 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 2, sine 2x. Okay, so j is equal this integral, which is u multiplied by v. If I multiply these two, I get minus x sine 2x minus the integral of v multiplied by du over dx. Okay, so if I multiply these two, I get minus sine 2x dx. Okay, this is looking lovely. That minus, I can take outside the integral. That's one of the rules for integration. So I can write minus x sine 2x plus the integral of sine 2x dx. Okay, taking it a step further gives me minus x sine 2x plus the integral of this, which is minus 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 2, cos 2x plus c, the constant of integration. The plus and minus becomes a minus, giving me minus x sine 2x minus 1 over 2 cos 2x plus c. Okay, I can go back to my expression for i, which is this over here. So I can write i is equal minus x squared cos 2x minus this integral, which I called j. Now I'm going to substitute my j in, giving me minus x squared cos 2x minus, in square brackets, this expression over here, which is minus x sine 2x minus 1 over 2 cos 2x plus c. Now, I can expand the bracket, giving me minus x squared cos 2x plus x sine 2x plus a half cos 2x minus c. 
So in summary, this particular integral is equivalent to this over here. So that there was my second example of using the integration by parts formula twice. Okay, ladies and gents, now I'm going to go through two examples on finding the value of a definite integral using integration by parts. Over here, it says find the value of the integral from 1 to 2 of ln x over x squared dx. Firstly, I noticed I can rewrite the fraction ln x over x squared as x to the power minus 2 ln x. u is ln, if not, x to the power n. In this particular case, u is equal to ln x, therefore dv over dx is equal x to the power minus 2. du over dx is equal to 1 over x. v is obtained by integrating the dv over dx. So if I integrate this, I get minus x to the power minus 1, which is minus 1 over x. Hence, the integral from 1 to 2 of ln x over x squared dx is given by uv, which is minus 1 over x ln x, in square brackets, putting in the limits 1 to 2, minus the integral from 1 to 2 of v du over dx, which is minus 1 over x squared dx. I can take out this negative, giving me two negatives, which is positive. Square brackets minus 1 over x, ln x, limits 1 to 2, integral 1 to 2 of 1 over x squared, which will be x to the power minus 2 dx. Now I substitute the limit 2 into here, giving me minus 1 over 2, ln 2, minus, I substitute the limit 1 into here, giving me minus ln 1, plus, I integrate this, and if I do that, I get minus x to the power minus 1, taking the limits from 1 to 2. We know that ln 1 is 0, so I can write minus 1 over 2, ln 2, plus, I put in the limit 2 into here, giving me minus 1 over 2, minus, I put in the 1 into here, giving me minus 1. Now, I know minus 1 over 2 minus minus 1 is minus 1 over 2 plus 1, which is a half. So I write plus a half. Therefore, the value of this definite integral is going to be minus 1 over 2 ln 2 plus 1 over 2. Here is my second example on finding the value of a definite integral using integration by parts. Find the value of the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of x cos x dx. Firstly, u is ln if not x to the power n. In this particular case, u is equal x, therefore dv over dx is equal to cos x. du over dx is equal to 1. v is given by integrating dv over dx, so if I integrate cos x, I get sine x. Hence, the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of x cos x dx is given by uv, which is x sine x, in square brackets, taking the limits from 0 to pi over 2, minus the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of v du over dx. So that's sine x dx. The next step is to substitute the limit pi over 2 into here, giving me pi over 2 sine pi over 2, minus substitute the limit 0 into here, 0 times sine 0 is just 0, minus in square brackets, I integrate sine x to give me minus cos x, taking the limits from 0 to pi over 2. Okay, now sine pi over 2 is just 1, so I get pi over 2 times 1, which is pi over 2, minus, I substitute the limit pi over 2 into here, I get minus cos pi over 2, minus, I substitute the limit 0 into here, I get minus cos 0. Okay, now, I know that cos of pi over 2 is 0, and cos of 0 is 1, therefore, the expression inside the square bracket simplifies to 1, hence, my final answer is pi over 2 minus 1. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.